All right, howdy, Friars. Welcome to Demo Day on December the 10th here. Um, this will probably be a pretty quick demo day. I'm just going to show off the NIMS, um, unless Chris joins, and then we'll show off some other stuff uh, from his side as well. Um, but uh, yeah, so I will start sharing screen post haste here. So what, wait, that's the wrong screen, not the blank screen. There we go. Uh, yes, can you see this, Manu? Yeah, it's visible. Okay, cool. So um, yeah, what you see here is a, an NFT uh, uh, on OpenSea. Now this is just a test render, so, um, but this basically shows the, you know, the NIM whose data is expressed in this huge uh, number here. Um, yeah, and then if I go back to my profile, whoops, go back to this here, this is the account that holds the NIM. <clears throat> Scroll down a bit, um, created. I'll just show you what one more looks like. Um, I think it's in this one, I'll open these both up. The script might take a little while to load here. Looks like it caches the script, even though, anyway, so this is another one. Um, you can see all that's changed here between these URLs is the identifier. So um, yeah, so what I'm putting together now is an airdrop and the result of that is that every Fry holder will have one of these in their uh, wallets and they'll, it'll appear on OpenSea on, in their account. It'll be on the Matic network or Polygon network, I should say. And it'll be some number other than, you know, between zero and, and this is the, the max number here. And you'll get some, some you know, one of these NIMs. Of course, I've, I've shown this before, but, um, you know, these are the types of NIMs that you can get. So, um, yeah, so we'll have a set of, I think, the list of addresses that I am uh, that I found. And this is every address that's ever held Fry uh, is about 2,400 addresses. So they'll each get a NIM dropped to them. Um, we are playing with the idea of minting 10 or 50 more as well and putting it in the treasury just so we can sell those directly on OpenSea and get kind of some, the benefit of that obviously on one hand is that we would get some income into the treasury if people want to buy them and it would also kind of establish a price um, for the NIMS without uh, depending on some fry holder selling their NIM <clears throat> on OpenSea. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all that there is here. I guess I could talk about some of the next actions here um is there anything too interesting here though that's the question oh yeah i need to get a gift for the preview image so if i go back here uh you can see the preview image is just four of these guys they you know every nim would look like this um <clears throat> and uh so I, I would be cool just to make a generic gift that's more thing maybe between four different faces and moving around um in theory, in a folder version, we could make it to where every NIM that you have, so like this guy would have a static picture that shows up on the preview image here, uh, but that would require the involvement of a server, which we're trying to avoid. Uh, we want to keep things as decentralized as possible. And in any, in any case, it's, it's complicated, sort of this first set. Um, this, as you might have guessed, is the alpha NIM set. So uh, these guys here, um, everything you see morphing here, uh, are from the alpha set. And basically this is just a, in a way, a proof of concept um, that people still might like. I do think they look cool, but uh, the goal of this airdrop is to basically give these all out and sort of validate that the community likes them and to see, you know, take direction um, from that point and from how people like them. Uh, for example, I wanna make the pupils and the eyes a lot more expressive and interesting. There's a lot of stuff we can do with the colors. We can do color gradients or different textures. Uh, we can add shadows. Um, so lots of stuff we could do there. But yeah, I think that's it for the demo. Um, I will stop sharing. Uh, Anu, do you have any uh, questions being the guy in the, the demo day? Um, no real questions. Um, yeah, I think it's maybe a longer discussion within the um, within the Telegram group around what the future of the NIMS is, um, you know, obviously you've, you've, you've foreseen that you'll have different uh, sets, so the alpha, mm -hmm. et cetera. Um, and then, you know, kind of what can you do with them? Is it just a nice right. image uh, or a render or? Right. You know, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, I really appreciate that question. 
So we may have talked about it here and there in different demo days, but um, there's a few different directions that I would like to go in. Um, and of these directions, uh, I think a lot of, uh, what I really wanna do is get feedback from the community and see what they like about them. But what I'd like to suggest is first of all, if we make governance require a NIM, um, and if we wanna go even further, we could make it to where you need a NIM and you need to have set up some pseudonymity things maybe with ZK money, ZK, uh, the ZK snark stuff. Um, what you would have is you'd have governance that, um, that you need one of these names to get into it's what makes it kind of an exclusive club and especially if we in the in the beta names we actually want to auction these off and so the the uh, vision that i'm excited about there is that if the beta names sell what you'll have is you'll have these people who've bought the nim for their money which is the usual you know transaction they're used to but then that nim is a ticket into governance where they can show up and actually talk to everyone else who's bought a NIM about how to spend the money they all just put into the pot together. And I think that could be really exciting to see what they do, especially if we can give them a, um, you know, a foundry flavored radical freedom type uh, mission statement. Um, and, I, and that goes really well with uh, branding them as a, you know, a tool of pseudonymity of these NIMs. Um, another thing I'd like to, that I'd like to think about but we'll see where the, you know, where the energy goes uh, once people respond to this. But I'd love to get like a, some kind of communication platform where you can use these NIMs um, uh, to talk to others and you're talking to them with your NIM. So it's something like what Board Apes has promised. Uh, I don't think Board Apes actually built that platform though. So they talk about having an exclusive community, but it's really just a Discord server that they manually validate that you have one of the Board Apes. Whereas with this, I just love the idea of there being some sort of platform where you show up as your NIM and built into the platform is the authentication that you have to obviously own the NIM for you to show up there and use it. Um, so that could be a really cool thing, really cool, fun thing to build. Um, but you know, which of those directions we go, uh, yeah, I, I wanna get a lot of feedback from the community first. Sorry, I, I saw we, we have an early demo day. I'm not sure if I saw that announcement. Oh, it's one. It's one thirty. It's not three thirty. Man, my time's all fucked up today. <laughs> okay, what did you demo? Well, um, I just demoed the NIMS. Um, I'll just show you quickly. Let me end the recording. Um, maybe we'll use this one. I'd like to, because now in my mind I've done demo day. So uh, bye YouTube. Okay, but cool. um, maybe we'll record another one with Chris because he wanted to show up off some other stuff too. Um, okay, let me end this recording.